What's going on guys? It's Adam from Spiritist Systems and this is not Two Minute Tuesday. This is now Team Room Tuesday. We're just gonna admit it. We've never actually made a two minute video. Maybe we've made, Josh, have we made even one? I think we've made one two minute video. Not a very good record. So we're gonna go with Team Room Tuesday. What is Team Room Tuesday? We are just going to give information away for free. That's what we like to do. All of this stuff is information that has been paid for by whoever at some point in the military. So yeah, we're gonna get right to it today. We are talking about optics and we are talking about how to preserve those optics in wet or cold weather environments. So all of our guys in Phoenix, Arizona, this does not really apply to you, but everyone else in the country north of that, you probably are gonna deal with this at some point, especially if you are in a winter environment or if you live on the East Coast and you get a lot of rain. So let's get right into it. Magnified optics. One of the biggest problems that we are faced with in a inclement weather environment is preserving the ability to use our magnified optics. Uh, being deployed in cold weather environments, doing a lot of cold weather uh, training in my career, I really started to see the importance of preserving uh, my lenses on my optics. And I think that the best way in the first line of defense is to not remove your optic covers uh, and actually to have spare sets of these on your, on your team. Uh, now with the advent of things like this one by eight attacker, uh, you know, even down to just the rifleman might have a magnified optic. You know, having some of these uh, on there is very important. But if you're on a sniper team and you're carrying something more like this Noveski here, uh, as a team, you should make it a point to have some backup eyepieces in your deployment kit. So Night Force, these are both Night Force optics. Big fan of Night Force. Certainly not the only optic out there worth having. Having good caps is definitely worth having. Night Force comes with uh, these you know, spring-loaded uh, caps, they're very high quality. They do a very good job of not opening on their own and they're also uh, very good at keeping moisture and condensation off of your lenses. So again, caps are the, the first line of defense. How I like to run uh, this optic in particular when uh, I'm in an environment like that is I keep both of the caps actually closed and I use my red dot backup sight uh, it's not really a backup site. It's actually a primary site for within 100 meters, but I use that as, as my primary optic during those times, and I preserve my, uh, my attacker or my you know, long-range optic, magnified optic, for when I actually need it. Uh, generally, I'll be getting into a better shooting position anyways, so I'll have a second to pop these caps open. If, you're very, if you only have uh, a magnified optic and you're worried about your ability to uh, you know, pick this up quickly and engage somebody. Say you're running this actually all the way down on one power. Uh, you can actually use this if it's illuminated, uh, occluded, just like you would with a red dot sight. So you can turn the, turn the uh, you know, your red dot on and you can still use it with both eyes open and shoot using the red dot. Or if you don't have uh, the need for it to be on a one, say you're running on three power or something like that, you can still keep this front cap closed and just keep kind of your thumb on the cap as you're walking around, ready to go uh, if, you know, if you want to preserve that objective lens. So caps are really our first line of defense and they are the best uh, thing that you can do for your optics to keep water and moisture out of there. The worst case scenario for magnified optics is honestly uh, temperature change variation from coming in and out of uh, say, uh, a Yukon-style Arctic tent or, uh, you know, out of a vehicle. If you're in a vehicle all day, say you're a police officer in Alaska, right? Bringing that, that weapon out of the, the warm environment into the cold, immediately it's going gonna, it's gonna to fog up or it's going to start having condensation issues. Uh, so having caps on there can help. It's not going to defeat the, the temperature variation. The only way to defeat temperature variation is by having your weapon stowed in uh, in a ambient temperature environment to you know whatever is going on outside your weapon needs to be in that as well. So I, I recommend if you're in those environments, it might be a better option to stow your weapon in the trunk of your vehicle if you know your policy allows it. If you are in the military or if you're you know you're operating in an Arctic environment, 
um, or even just a, a cold weather environment. It doesn't necessarily have to be Arctic. You're definitely going to want to stow your weapon in a rack outside if you can. Uh, and so it's just some tips on that. Stowing your weapon outside, it kind of gives people, it's, it's, it's this uneasy feeling because you want to have your weapon with ar in arm's reach. Unfortunately, in an alpine environment, an Arctic environment, that's just, you just can't do that. We need to preserve the weapon in totality. It, it's more than just the optic, but stowing it outside is uh, going to keep it from condensating. If you do have to bring it inside for weapons maintenance, just know that it's going to take about an hour for the weapon to equalize in temperature and then uh, you can clean all that moisture off of it and, uh, and take care of it. A couple other things that I like to do to combat condensation and cold weather and rain and things like that is uh, just one of these guys right here. So this right here is just a small microfiber cloth that's stuffed in a little pocket, right? Clips onto things. I keep these on my chest rigs and my plate carriers. I also attach them to my weapons. So I'll just pull it out here. If you've never seen one, where have you been all this time? But yeah, it's just a little microfiber cloth. Uh, I think they're actually invented for sunglasses, but they work great for optics. So again, I keep these mounted, like this one on my A-Tacker. He's just clipped on and uh, I just use a rubber band, right? It's a Ranger band, I put it on there. That way, if it does get snagged on something, it can just pull off, but it's always at hand, right? It's, it's there, I can wipe optics clean very quickly. If you can't see through your optic, you can't really utilize your firearm. Uh, same with, the, with my Noveski here. I'll just push it through the other side. I have one just, again, just mounted on my scope tie down. Um, this plastic clip, again, it'll just break. If it's, if it's ever snagged on anything, it'll just give way and get off. So I like to keep those at hand all the time. You should always be able to wipe your, your lenses clean. I also apply cat crap. So out of all the compounds out there, for anti-fog, I, I find that the cat crap is the best, uh, best product. I've had the most success with it. So light coating on your lenses, there's instructions on how to use it on the back. Uh, you let it sit and then you gently wipe it clean off of the lens. It'll help with fogging. It's not a miracle product. It's not gonna completely eliminate all the fogging, but it does help. So I put those on my lenses as well. It's also, they claim it is a, it's a cleaner as well, so it, it, it can help clean your lens. And then lastly, I always carry uh, some of these lens wipes in my kit. Uh, I always wanna have a clean uh, wipe of some sort to be able to remove debris from my lens. And something that we have to be very aware of is that you know if you have a piece of mud or you have anything on there, you can actually just deeply scratch the glass on your uh, optic by using some kind of uh, some kind of like t-shirt or whatever material to clean it off. So I always keep a couple of these with me just to you know just to keep it clean. So yeah, just kind of recapping, guys. Really, the the meat of it is to is to keep your caps on your optic, even though they can be frustrating. Um, it is going to preserve the integrity of that glass. It is going to keep most of your falling snow and moisture and things out of the out of the lenses so they're there when you need it. Secondary is definitely temperature control and your uh, your wipe cloth, right? So don't put your weapon in that variable condition if you can prevent it and always have a way to clean it off, clean condensation off if you uh, if you do. Compounds like cat crap, putting those on your lenses kind of helping prevent that fogging and then uh, finally keeping our lenses clean uh, and free of debris as much as we can and having a means to clean them in the field uh, in a you know, kind of ex, you know, expedient way. Something like these uh, Zeiss lens wipes are what I would recommend. So that's it guys. Uh, this is a new format, no longer Two Minute Tuesday. It is uh, Team Room Tuesday. And we're just gonna be giving away free information. Uh, so if you could, like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like this video, spread the word. If you know somebody who uh, who needs information, go ahead and share it with them. We really appreciate it and we appreciate all your guys' time and we will see you next time.